Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to flip slash create a mirror effect in Camtasia 9. Alright, so you can do this on images, videos, shapes, and text. Now I'm going to show you how to flip it and to, and or if you want to create a mirror effect, you know, with the original and then the flipped version. And I'm going to show you how to animate the rotational flip so that it's continuous. Okay, so I've got a couple things here. And let's say we want to do it on this right here. This is a picture. This is a thumbnail of one of our Camtasia 9 tutorials. So let's do it on this one first. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that we can see it better when I compare it. Okay, so let's just make a copy of this. I'm going to go Control C, Control V. So I've got one here to show you the difference. So I'm going to go back to this one. And you want to head over to the rotation. So there's different ways to rotate this and you can play around with them. So for instance, if you click the up and down button here, you can kind of see that it's going to rotate it like this, just like a simple flat rotation. So I'll head back to zero here. Um, if you've ever messed it up, you can just click this, ro this uh, reverse thingy and then it will go back to zero if you've made a mistake. So before I go to the middle one, I'm going to go to the bottom one here, click the up and down arrow. And you can see that it's kind of tilting forward now. Like it's going to like fall over towards me. And then I'll bring it backwards. You can see that it's going back now. So you can flip it like that as well. All right, let's click this here to go back and reset. Now, this is the one I'm talking about. So I'll click the up arrow here to move it along and you'll slowly start to see that it's going to be doing this horizontal flip thing that's happening. And I'm gonna show you how to add an animation later to make it look like it's continuously moving. So you can see here that now it's like exactly on its edge right now and we can keep going and now everything's going to be backwards because it's a mirror image of the original so I'm just going to get it to go to the other side completely just so I can show you the comparison here and we'll get it to 180 degrees 180 okay now that is going to be the complete opposite of this one. So as you can see, if you're doing a video, you can do like a cool, both of them flipping, and then it's kind of like this abstract thing happening. So this, this one right here is the mirror of the top one. And like I said, you can do this with video as well. It doesn't have to be just images. So Let's move this one here. You can do the same thing. Now the cool thing is you can have it move like flipping and adding an animation as well at the same time. So as you can see, it's doing the same thing here. So I'm just going to move this along here and I'll show you one more here. You can do some cool things with text. Okay, so let's just say we have that there. We want to do it to the text as well. So right here, it's going to be like on this A. You want to head over to this film strip here, which is the visual properties. And then you can go and rotate it. So you can see here, once I press up, it's going to start to move. And you can have it do like this revolving rotation if you want to add an animation to it. So. Let me just reset that. Let's add some animations here to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to stretch 
both of them out and then let's add some animation. So I'm going to head over to animations and then it's going to be on zoom and pan but you want to head over to animations and then I want to drag this custom animation down to my media. So I'm going to put the first one here. So I'm just going to add it to one right now. So I'm just going to highlight this one only and then I'm going to rotate it again going back to its original position. Now I'm just I'm clicking the up arrow on this area here in the rotation to show you guys you know it's going to be moving slowly but you guys can make it go faster by adding in your numbers. So I'm just doing this to show you guys what's happening to it and we'll get it to go all the way around to 360 okay so we'll click play here and see what it looks like so you can see it did a cool flip now it did it fairly fast but we can make it go slower if we want so it did that now we can well let's make it continue actually all right, so let's keep this continuous and let's create another animation so it keeps going. So I'm going to add a new animation here because I want to keep it going. And let's keep going with the rotation here. Okay, let's click play here. So you can see it's rotating. Now let's take some of these animations here and let's place them on the text. So we've got some backwards text here. Let's click play. So that's cool. And you can make this go longer and slower by making the arrow stretch out or make it squished. And you can do the same thing here. I'm going to paste it here. And then you can still have the video playing while it's flipping. So I'll just show you. Let me just lower this down. This might be kind of loud. Click play. So you can see it's doing like a flip effect while it's playing. It's happening really fast. Let me just stretch it out so it's a little bit slower so that you guys can actually see it. There we go. I'll play it for you guys. So it's going a much slower flip there. So you can see it's doing a flip effect while it's still playing at the same time. So that is how you do a flip slash create a mirror effect in Camtasia 9. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want more Camtasia 9 tutorials, free Camtasia 9 tutorials, head down to the description below as I have a whole bunch more for you guys in the playlist. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.